Another strike, looking at life, so my mind state self terminate. Sell this place, shake Jake, blowing like the wind out the tree state. Continue to manipulate till my pocket straight, nigga.
Hey all, this is Terry the Ancient One with Taste Nation. For those of you who have read my record reviews, uh, you know that I'm pretty big into the metal and the rock scenes. Uh, however, I'm not just stuck on rock and roll and metal. I do like other music. I'm a taster, of course, uh, so I've got to taste every kind of music, even rap, which is what we're going to be talking about today in my interview with Deranged the Messiah, a young man from here in Michigan who's career is just now starting to bud he's just come out with his first album called a fire in my eyes uh, i'm gonna ask him a few questions about himself and let him introduce himself to y'all i hope you really like him uh, take care hey everyone this is terry the ancient one at adato park with deranged the messiah to start off with my first question for derange here uh what uh, what kind of effort did you take to did it take for you to make your record? Well, the effort I made was kind of um, it was hard and challenging because you know throughout the years you know what I'm saying I did time and uh, I wrote while I was locked up you know what I'm saying and uh, just getting out here and hooking up with the right team. To help me perfect my craft, you know what I'm saying? That that was like, it wasn't that hard because a lot of stuff my brother, mathematics, lined up for me, like producers, you know what I'm saying? And uh, lined it up for me, so I was able to come out here, you know, get straight to it. And now, uh, when and where was your first experience on the stage, Derange? Well, my first experience on stage was um, back in 96. I was in a group called Midwest Ballers, one of the founders of Midwest Ballers. That was um, um, at the Academy on Pleasant Grove at Holmes. Then I performed at uh, after our joint right there on um, Cedar, Cedar and uh, Mount Hope. And uh, what was that first experience like for you? Well, the first that first experience for me was good because you know I was young at the time, like 16, my teenage years, and um, just seeing you know what I'm saying how how transition to something bigger. You know, so I was just glad to be a part of that. You know, so okay. there you go. And, you know, before I even got a chance to ask about it, uh, you've already mentioned doing time. Uh, but uh, what would you say is the main reason that when you decide to rap, you decide sometimes to spit venom at those you're upset with? Well, you know, it's just that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying, that I um, used to be around with or know, you know, they was on some snake fake shit. You know, some of them was rats, you know, at the end of the day. But, uh, you know, I just keep it 100, you know what I'm saying? So, if you either like it or don't, respect it or check it. Okay. Now, uh, this one is for the both of you. I want to get a perspective from both of you here. What would you say are the um, differences between the Detroit rap scene versus some of the others? Well, the difference from my perspective is, you know, they, they, uh, they got their own like style, you know what I'm saying? Besides different from, um, uh, you know, rappers in the United States or overseas, you know, you know, they, they like to shine, you know what I'm saying? Buffs and all that. But, um, it, it's just different because, you know, they, 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 they consider like the gator capital, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um. Uh, I like some of that shit. All right, now, um, Duran, what would you say? Are, what would you say you are? Would you say you're a rapper or are you a hip hop artist? And if there is a difference, can you tell me what the difference is? Well, you no, know, really, it's not not the many differences between rapper and hip hop artist. But I could I consider myself both. You know what I'm saying? Cause a rapper just rap, a hip hop artist really got style, but it really ain't no difference, you know what I'm saying? 
rappers got style too. Hip hop artists got style too. And uh, I put myself in both brackets. Okay, I, I can get that. I see a lot of uh, rock stars uh, that fall in the um, metal category yeah. and into the hard rock. Right. And then Prague. It's weird like that sometimes. Uh, now, uh, who would you say your biggest you know, music influences were, Derange? Well, my, my, my biggest influence was Tupac. You know, uh, I really gravitated towards his songs, you know what I'm saying? Look, just listening to him as a young youth, what really put me up on him was like my pops, he was like my pops, KC, you know what I'm saying? Glenn Jones. So at, after he put me on pop, you know, I really be became a big fan of him. Rest in peace. Okay, and uh, what would you say is your opinion of uh, Kanye West? I, I mean, I know absolutely nothing about rap, and you know he's just like one of the big stars. Would you say Kanye West is real serious rap, or would you say he is bubblegum? Do you know what bubblegum is? Well, the truth, you know what I'm saying, from my perspective, he was um, serious when he first came out. Then he transitioned to like a bubblegum rapper, but he, he still... I'll call on as far as the producer, you know, aspect of it of the music industry. Uh, he just, you know, sell out now. A lot of um, shows and albums and shit. Transitioning over, you know, in the mainstream, but I like him. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now uh where would you say you Oops. Now where would you say you see yourself in the next in the short term and then in the long term short term maybe next year or so and then the long term within five six years well within the next year i see uh more albums coming out you know what i'm saying on the high risk ent you know uh shows coming up uh, within the next five years big things businesses clothes merchandise you know what i'm saying uh, you know, signing artists, you know, more producers, working with more producers and working with um, a lot of the um, celebrities that's already out in the industry, I mean, the music industry. Um, you know, so I see big things in like five years, though. Okay. And then um, I got one more question here for you. Uh, rock versus rap. What do you? Where do you see similarities, and where do you see differences in it? Well, as far as the similarities, I see like you know everybody write. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as the rock and the rap, guys write their um, own songs, or whether it be females, whatever. Um, you might got some ghost writers here and there. You know, the differences is the rock is like mosh pit type shit. But you get, when rap, you know, you just like bob your head, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Now you know, I can see the fast money. 
money from the twinkle spam. Cheers, money you can't keep up. Fast money. Cheers. Fast money. I love fast money. Cheers. Fast money. My rap's for sale. The race to hook preset for. Trying to sell. Trying to get his pockets fat like a whale. Fast money like a cheetah. Fast money from the twinkle spam. Cheers, money you can't keep up. Fast money. Cheers. Fast money. I love fast money. Cheers. Fast money like a cheetah, fast money from the twinkle, fast money you can't keep up.